Okay, Mike here, Sky Include again for another video. Uh, talking to some people, I just want to make it more clear what is a TLD versus an SLD. I think for a lot of us, we never knew what a TLD really was, or essentially it's uh, .com, you know, .gov, .edu, .org. These are top-level domains. When we say we buy domain names, at least up until 2020, we mean buying, you know, skyinclude.com. So that's a, you know, it's a SLD. Skyinclude dot is the SLD, dot com is the TLD. Okay. And now what's really cool about this, uh, the handshake is actually it's a TLD uh, blockchain which we'll talk about in a second, but just to explain SLD, TLD, I did it here. We, You might be reading this in the future. We do have HTTP, no S, uh, right now, colon, slash, slash, setup is our SLD, and then dot sky include, because we also have sky include TLD, right? So if you were to buy a handshake domain now in the auctions in uh, 2020 and a little bit of 2021, that dot name is the TLD. So that hopefully is clear, right? So we are lucky we have both the skyinclude.com on the normal DNS internet and then on the HNS internet we have setup.skyinclude and we try to put this blog right now on, on both actually. Um, and then again, a lot of people know ICANN is the one that is overseeing current TLDs like you know these dot coms and govs and orgs and then they have people uh, managing those depending on the TLD it is and the whole idea of handshake is it's um, decentralizing that on the blockchain but again I just want to make it clear the TLD is our handshake is a TLD only blockchain so what that means is if somebody buys an SLD I learned this too is that won't be like recorded on the blockchain of Handshake, at least as of 2020. I've heard some discussions, maybe they could we could expand the blockchain of Handshake to also store and record the SLD ownerships. But for now, from what I've read and understood, the main issue is the centralization of TLDs on the traditional internet. And what's happening now is they are working on having uh, these TLD. Sorry, my kids are here, so it's okay. Um, but basically, they're having the um, uh, TLDs is the main issue from what I've read in, in uh, my research. So this is only stored on the TLDs for now. And now I just want to talk quickly about some SLDs, people selling domains or traditional domains or SLD domains that we all know. So gateway.io is set up by the park.io team. They've been pioneering in this. I mean, they've been involved since the beginning, it seems like, in Handshake from what I've researched with them. And they've done great things for the community. And they put together gateway.io. And uh, you can go there, of course, and check it out. We can open it up right now since we're on video. Gateway.io and basically uh, it says own outside of the control of ICANN. You can, of course, let's say Mike. So it's unavailable, unavailable. You can see I could I could buy these for uh, this yearly fee. Um, the prices are different. I think it's just, I don't know how, how it's decided. Um, right now people can apply. I, I've applied as well. Um, with some of your handshake names and then it could be also added here so if i want to be mike.influencer i could buy it and uh, pay you know i think by just normal credit card yeah see just by normal credit card and uh it will be set up and yeah it's just to make it clear that right now it's not yet on main browsers and you have to have a special configuration but um you can buy it and they can check the pricing here for the yearly fees of these domains so i don't know if that's exciting to you or not but you know, maybe uh if you're want to get some exposure to this you could buy an sld on gateway.io um, there's still time to get into the auctions at the tld level uh up until valentine's day of 2021 so we got a couple more months or about a month a uh, month and a half so what do you think i mean also it's not this is not just about selling domains um I am also interested in this and like dApps, you know, the whole idea of DeFi and connecting payments with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and using these as like apps and social networks where every username gets their own SLD on your domain. So 
we have dot owners, right? So the idea of dot owners is we don't really plan to sell that as an SLD. We plan to say if you want to, if you're a startup, your company wants to have other owners or manage owners on the blockchain or in uh, dApps, you could register with us and then you could log into your company dot owners account and then manage your ownership in that company. I mean, that's pretty cool. So this is this is just one way, you know, selling SLDs. And, you know, there is an application process for gateway.io. We could try to add it to the links. Um, it's, uh, it, all this is very, very early stage. And again, it's not financial advice. I'm just trying my best to make it clear for everybody to understand. I'd love to hear what ideas you're working on, what you think some of the possibilities are of Handshake and these TLDs with SLDs. Best of luck. Take care.